in Israel, justice is, is done in public. These are public hearings. Um, if the public participates, it keeps the court, the judge, and the defense and the prosecution more alert, more attuned to what's to, the, to actually carrying out justice. So we need to have people just sort of to keep an eye on things, to make sure that that justice is actually done. That's really vitally important. I am here to provide Michael Palmer, uh, the father and grandfather of Asher and uh, Yonatan uh, Zichronam Levracha uh, support, uh, but also our organization has taken it upon itself uh, to uh, work for and work with the American parents of victims of Palestinian terror. Uh, so I'm here also in an information gathering capacity. The thought I have in mind as I'm sitting there with the man who killed Asher and Yonatan is, um, is the thought of Asher and Yonatan in my heart. That justice needs to be done and part of the pain of, of this is having to endure being in the presence of those individuals who committed the crime. So I just keep Asher and Yonatan's images in my, in my mind's eye and in my heart and do the best I can to get through these, these hearings and you're right David, it's, uh, it's not easy to do at all. I would like to see justice get served and uh, whatever sentence uh, this terrorist deserves he should get and serve to its full extent. Unfortunately David, now we have to deal with a situation where uh, terrorists with American blood on their hands have been freed as part of the Gilad Shalit deal so we have to get the American government, the Department of Justice involved uh, to pursue them and prosecute them in American courts. It's very important to support victims of terror. Uh, Asher and Yonatan were murdered by terrorists. They're on trial here and they need to be remembered. Um, they need to be remembered in people's hearts and that means coming out here and seeing that justice is done to these individuals here who actually committed these two murders. Asher was about life and he met a, uh, an early death. He wasn't even 25 when he was killed, but what he was about was about building Eretz Israel and the love of the land. And what we need to do is to make sure that his message keeps going and that we work harder and harder to make sure that it's actually realized. Unfortunately, we have not been allowed to come into the courtroom. We're awaiting uh, pending change of orders because they claim that because they didn't have our identification numbers written down, we're not allowed to come in, although many of us have been in other sessions. And um, right now we're here just to continue to support and to continue to believe that uh, what we're doing is right. And of course, in my hands, is a photograph of uh, our loved ones that were murdered simply because they were Jews. And ironically, tonight is Remembrance Day for the Holocaust. And when you think of the continuous terror directed against the Jewish people from century to century, I think it's awesome that as we stand here in our land, in our eternal homeland, we're not allowed to come and support our family that lost their only because they're Jews in our land. This was a waste of time, a waste of Israeli uh, taxpayer shekel. Uh, really, uh, there was a lot of uh, nothing that went on from uh, the defendant's lawyers. Uh, they managed to uh, get a postponement and uh, we're going, we're rescheduled for, I believe it is uh, January 3rd. That was about June. the sum total. Of June 3rd. June 3rd.